There she is. I originally bought this place, opened a cycling training center because I am an Olympic cycling coach. And that's what the whole premise was. I looked all over the East Coast. Every time I did a camp in, in you know, not, all, all, not only just the East Coast, but all over the country, in, in California or down south, I looked for a place that I could do my own thing. California was ridiculous. It was so freaking expensive. A place like this was $10 million. It was nuts. Other things were like, you could buy with like dude ranches that were in big trouble or kick, scout camps that went out of business. Stuff that, that really needed restoration too, just like this place was a dump. But this was something special at one time. If you restored a, a Boy Scout camp, what do you got? You still got a dump, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, so I bought this and it took all the apartments out of here that were in here, took all the bathrooms out, the kitchens out, took the walls down. And I had no clue that there was such thing as... This haunted. There was such thing as ghosts. I just didn't realize that. Um, without, uh, there was. You, 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 do, <clears throat> you do know it, but you don't know it. You know what I mean? It's going on, but you're oblivious to it. It's like I get this thing, whatever the hell, like 10 minutes or something in my ears, like a ringing. Well, the first, you know, two or three weeks I had that, it drove me crazy. And I've had it for years. I don't even notice it anymore. Right. So, so um, when, once the, and the people that lived upstairs that go here, there was six apartments in this place on it, where they didn't think anything was different because they heard noises all the time. Some had pets, some had this, you know, there were old people, you know, they were, you know, they were moaning and groaning or whatever. So, but once they were gone and we opened the place up, then you started hearing things. But you still don't realize. And then when we, when my daughter and son-in-law said to me, you know, hey, Pop, you're, you're traveling all over the world doing cycling camps. You know, you're all over South America and Europe. In the wintertime, mom's here, you know. She's got to drive to work to Bergen County, which is near the George Washington Bridge, two hours each way. Man, you got to get some money in here so you have to do that. So they said, why don't you open a bed and breakfast? Because now it's all restored. People like to come to historical places. All right. So my daughter was into all that stuff. She, uh, she set this whole thing up, got all the stuff going, did research. And we just thought that people come us bed and breakfast because there's so many things around here. I don't know if you know, but I mean Bethel Woods, where they had the Woodstock Festival, is only is only uh, 17 miles from here. Mm -hmm. There's a the Harness Racing Museum is is right near here in Goshen. There's the Fly Fishing Museum. There's the river. There's all the rafting. There's a lot of activity that goes on up here. There's a lot of theaters up here. So I said it'd be great bed and breakfast. People would come here. They would come down for breakfast in the morning, pissed off. What's going on? We came here to get away for the weekend. Who touched my hair last night? Some felt like somebody was hovering over me. Guy says a guy pulled my something pulled my toe. You pulled my toe here. So, so they said, and people with their money back said they thought we were stage stuff. Stuff we did, we didn't do any of that. Nothing. So then we said to people, come, it's wanted. Come. If you don't, now people get pissed off if something doesn't bother them. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> But with all the modern stuff they find there, they've done seven TV shows here. I don't know if you know that. I've known of a couple of ghost hunters. They were strangers. here. Ghost uh, hunters, paranormal kids. Uh, psychic kids. Psychic kids. Yeah, uh, uh, Stranded was here. Uh, paranormal after party. Uh, yeah. uh, ghost finders from England came here. Many and, they, and and five, four of them, I guess, were on real TV. Yeah. And, you know, A and E and sci-fi. The other ones were cable things. Yeah. Because cable news that was a big thing. You know, everything's cable. But so they did these. Now, as a matter of fact, my daughter's now negotiating with some guy that did, guys that did stranded here. They want to come back and do a whole series here. Josh yeah. Gates, that guy? Yeah. 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 Nice. That's going to be cool, huh? Yeah. Nice people, by the way. Now, did you believe in paranormal before no, this? Not. So you're 100% skeptic? Oh, of course. I, mean, when, 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 I, was, I, was, I was busy. I worked on First of all, I'd like, say I had my own business. Bicycle was huge. I played music. My father had a big dance band. I played music at the time I was in this band since I was 14 years old. I traveled, raced myself. I was a you know, top international, international champion. I, uh, uh, I coached all over the world. I was everywhere. I never had time. You know, I still don't work 18 hours a day, for God's sake. It's the way it is, you know. And I, so I, it was not, never even thought about it. Nothing on your radar at all. Nothing. I, never, I mean, if I would probably would have sat down and thought about it, you know. 
maybe. Yeah. But, no, there's no time for that shit. So was there like... And I've been in places all over the world. You can't believe the places I've been to. The castles and stuff that I've been to, you know. <laughs> you know. Now, was there like a defining moment when you're like, yeah. holy crap, this is... Yeah. I can't explain this. Yeah. Our bed, above our bed when the attic is, at night, you would hear noises like you would hear, like my wife kept saying that there's, there's, a, there's a raccoon in the attic. And the problem was, the old, the, with this old couple that lived in the middle of the apartment, they died at 98, 99, 97, so they were here for 50 years. We had a knock on their door, can you go through, they didn't hear you, but like, go in the attic. There was nothing, you go there, so whatever. Some, and one day my wife was, oh my God, they're moving furniture. The raccoons moving furniture. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of, then when the people were here, I told you the first investigating group that were over there, she said, with all her equipment, she says, either, and we heard this for years and years and years, she said, either it gets more active or less active. With our machinery and stuff, our equipment, the spirits go someplace else in the house. They move somewhere else. All right. So, after they left, and on, we heard it for five or six years every day. Wake you up. Never heard it again. <laughs> Never heard it again. Right? So, that got you thinking. Plus, when my wife worked in, in New Jersey, I'd be here doing my stuff in my office. I'd be in there working, I, and somebody would call my name. My, my. So I was thinking, it's a big house. They deliver UPS way on the other side of the kitchen where you park your cars. Yeah, and someone's yelling for you. I would walk out there, there's nobody. So I used to leave the TV on all the time when I was working. I never got any work done. You know? Things like that. That's crazy. 